Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate all my subscribers. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that red bell. You'll be notified of every video I upload. So today I'm just going to ex tell you a little bit of how I've lost 35 pounds. It was hard, but this is just what helped me. Maybe it could help you. I'm not a physical expert or anything like that. I have no degrees, but this is just what has helped me. So starting off, I fell off the bandwagon. And so I decided to get back on my water kick because I love water, but when it's cold, it's just hard for me to drink water. So I drank a lot of water. Sometimes I drank more sodas. But I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay to my goals and stay on track. But it's hard. Life gets in the way of things every day. We have families. We have kids. We have jobs. We have school. And then with the COVID stuff going on, everything is more hectic now. So with all this corona stuff, life gets in the way. Everything's more hectic. Gyms are closed. And it's just crazy. But... For starters, I done the water thing. And I have also started fasting. I fast, I do the 16-8, which is I fast for 16 hours. And then for the other eight hour, well, for the eight hour window is when I eat. But normally I only eat lunch and dinner. I eat lunch and dinner. Most time it's just dinner. Because for two weeks, I done the OMAD diet, which was one meal a day, which I ate dinner. And when I did eat, I ate pretty healthy. I'm also trying to cut out pasta and bread, which I don't need a whole lot of bread. And if I go out to eat, most of the time I'll go to Subway, I'll get a salad. Or either I'll eat Japanese food and get extra vegetables. Because I love zucchini, carrots. I love vegetables. So I do that if I go out to eat. When I'm at home, I don't really count out my calories, but I eat pretty clean. I don't eat a lot of bread. Pasta is my downside. I love pasta and I love potatoes, but we all know that is not good if you got fluffy girl problems. So I'm trying my best, which I've been doing pretty good on the potatoes. I haven't been eating a whole lot of potatoes. But the pasta is my downfall. So, I'm working on the pasta. Another thing that helped me, I don't exercise a whole lot because it's hard for me to get out a lot. But I do walk a lot. I will walk for at least 30 minutes a day. When I get my family involved, we go out walking at nighttime because I play a game and I'm a dork. I play Pokemon Go, which I play it mostly because you can walk to hatch eggs and stuff. So that gets me out and moving and keeps me occupied while I'm playing that. So you really don't think about the exercise as exercise. I'm just out walking, having fun, playing my game. So that's, an, that's a way to do it. You can take your family out. You can go to the park. If you have kids, you can run around with your kids. Any kind of exercise that gets you up and moving is great. It's better for you to move around any, even if you're just cleaning your house. You don't consider that exercise because it's something you have to do every day. But if you think about it, it's a form of exercise because you're walking around, you're cleaning, you're scrubbing, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're up and moving. You're not sitting on the couch watching TV. You're not on the couch into your phones watching YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or social medias, you're up and moving around. So anything that gets you up and moving is great. So I'm trying to exercise more, which I know I don't. I do a lot of ab exercises though, because I'm trying to trim my waistline, but we've all been told abs is made in the kitchen. So I've got to cut out the pasta and the bread. But I love my pasta and my bread. 
But most people love pasta and bread, so I'm working on that. That's what I'm trying to work on. But I do eat pretty clean. I eat pretty good. But I'm trying to get out moving more. And I'm trying to grow my fan base on here. So I'm going to share my tips that helps me. But the most thing that's helped me, I would say, probably would be the fasting and the eating. Exercise you can do later, but my main focus is to focus on my diet, what I'm eating, what I'm putting into my body. And that is the real struggle for me. The exercise isn't a big deal because I love to exercise. I used to live in a gym years ago, but... Like I said, life gets in the way. You, I started a new relationship. And I was more focused on the relationship than the gym and stuff. So I quit going to the gym. And then now the gyms are closed. So I've been doing exercises at home. I'm going to make another video about that. So you can exercise at home. Get the same benefits at home than you would in the gym. And you don't have to pay for working out at home. If you want dumbbells, great. You can go out and buy dumbbells from Walmart, Amazon, eBay. You can buy those. You can buy the resistance bands, which I don't like those because they scare me. Because if they pop or break, that's going to hurt. So I don't do the resistance bands. Walking is a great form of exercise and they say not to run a whole lot because it's bad on your knees and your joints walking is better for that you can buy you an elliptical you can do that at home they say spinning is not good like cycling but it's a form of cardio you can buy equipment and do stuff at home but the best thing to do is to walk and you can also lightly jog, not run, because running is really bad for your joints and it's bad for your knees. Because I know somebody used to run every day like miles. And they was a fitness trainer. Well, they tore out a ligament, hurt their knees and stuff, and they said it's not a good thing to run because it is bad on your joints and your knees. Walking, jogging, is fine. So, like I said, the water is a big thing. If you're not big on water, they do have flavors that you can put in your water. You can also put fruit in there. I put, I have put strawberries in mine, blueberries, cucumber. You can infuse your water with fruits and vegetables. Not a big deal. If you don't like plain water, they've also got, like I said, the powder packs or the Mio. I drink Mio. And then I have a Country Time Lemonade one. I love the Country Time Lemonade. It tastes just like lemonade. And it's so good. But I drink a lot of plain water also. And it's about to be fall and cooler weather. So I will be drinking my coffee. Which I drink keto coffee. So if you want to see what kind of coffee I drink, just leave a comment. I'll comment back. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything you want to know. Any advice I can give you, I'm will more than willing to give you my advice. I'm going to be posting a I'm going to be posting a video from when I started my weight loss journey. I don't talk a lot about my weight because I do not like my body. I can't tell I've lost a lot of weight, but I look at myself every day. I see myself every day. But other people has told me, you know, that I've lost a lot of weight, that I look good, but I'm just don't like my stomach. I look pregnant, and I hate the fact that I look pregnant. So I'm going to cut back, and I'm going to work harder on my food. So if you're on this journey with me, if you're following me and supporting me, thank you. If you support me, I will support you back. I love commenting. I love getting comments. I love talking to people. So don't don't hesitate to comment. I like staying in contact with my fans. I like staying in contact with my fans. So please subscribe. Please leave me comments. Show me some love. I'll show you love back. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.